Hello, everyone. My name is Pablo Suarez, and uh, I'm a researcher on climate and disasters. And I used to operate completely within my comfort zone, a math geek making models about how forecasts can help reduce losses. And guess what? Uh, I would expect that magic would happen. Someone would use this stuff, actionable information, and then the world would be better. I had to start working with the Red Cross, Red Cross and Climate Center to try to make a difference. This is the kind of things that I'm now helping my colleagues understand. This is an actual seasonal forecast that was received by my colleague Yusuf. He used to work with 28 countries. To pay attention to that, he had to stop paying attention to Darfur and other places. We have a model of the usual experience of communicating information. Allegedly actionable goes to a passive audience and then we don't know what happens. We hope something will, not much happens. In my experience, when I put people in the passive role, I shrink people's brain. I see that happen all the time. So I started working with others, developing approaches that are more participatory. And now you're going to get a mini flavor of it. You will be very confused. We're going to play. Look at your row, that's your team. You're going to try to win with your team. We usually give chocolate to the winner, and uh, the winning team will be the one that has the most people standing by the end. You are not who you think you are, you're a Red Cross disaster manager. If you make one wrong decision, people suffer. That's unacceptable. Everybody, please stand up. So, this is not a die, it's the probability distribution function of precipitation based on the past record. This is an extreme event. If an extreme event is about to happen, it's a good idea to protect against too much rain. If you want to protect, you go like this. Can you please show me? Good. If you think rains are going to be good, you go like that. Can you please show me? I'm going to throw this after a countdown, by the end of the countdown, each one of you has to either be like this or like this. If you get it wrong, if you go like this and there's a flood, you sit down. If you uh, hope for anything else, you're like this and there's good rains, you sit down. Rules clear? If they're not, live with it. You're a Red Cross disaster manager, you have to live with it. You have 30 seconds, go for it. Make a decision. Uh, you can converse with your neighbors because this is a road team, yeah? You have very few seconds to make your decision. The rains are coming. Make your decision. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Majority of people like that, not surprisingly. Let's see what the rains bring. And it's good rains. Anyone like this, sit down. You just failed to invest in the long term. Of those who are standing, we move on to year two. But I have news for you. This is the past, but now we have unusual conditions. Have you heard of El Nino? Have you heard of seasonal forecasts? This is what we see now. It's the same that Yusuf received. If we define an extreme as the highest 15% of a historical record, this year, in these areas of green pixel, the probability is enhanced to between 40 and 50%. Instead of one in six, it's one in two. I'm going to flip this. If it falls like that, it's a flood, extreme event. What are you going to do? You have 20 seconds. Make your decisions. 10 seconds, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Not surprisingly, a much larger proportion is like that. You got it. Not the same happens when we talk to people, putting them passively. You have to make decisions. That's why you paid attention to information. You're aware of consequences. You may bring your arms down. These are farmers from the Zambezi River uh, floodplain. They are running in the context of a game where they themselves came up with ideas on how to deal with floods. Games motivated them to think differently. This is with IPCC lead authors, world's top scientists. We put them in a game where we have to make decisions based on their own summary for policymakers. And they had no idea what to do. This was a game designed <laughs> with the World Bank chief economist for sustainable development. You may recognize that dude. This is in the White House. 130 people, hello, my name is Pablo, this is not a frisbee, it's a hurricane. If it hits you in the chest, you're in deep trouble. You can evacuate by sitting down, but if you evacuate in vain, it's trouble. Throw the die, throw the frisbee at people, believe me, they remember the value. <laughs> if you want actionable info to be used, we suggest 
before giving an answer, you have to create the question. Huh? What is that? How can I use it? Then they will own the aha moment. If you want to learn about this approach in not five minutes but 90, tomorrow we will explore the complexity of actionable information through gameplay. Playable system dynamic models. Math geek, but you get to play. It's not going to be game over, it's going to be just the beginning tomorrow 9 a.m. Thank you.